Reconciliation rounds uh, in the Waka. We'd just like to um, acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land, the Wajagnunga people, and pay our respects to uh, elders, past, present, and emerging. Thank you, Jordan. Um, so, yeah, welcome to episode number five. A uh, quick roundup of what happened in our games against Rockingham and building up to this weekend's fixtures. First of all, gents, uh, welcome. Welcome, Jordan. Belmont, nice to see you. Again, always a pleasure. It's great to be here, mate. Yeah. Fantastic. Wouldn't miss it for the world. And of course, welcome to our special guest, Campbell. As uh, I'm sorry to be here. It's a career highlight, so I'm sure. Uh, so we'll get into why you're here a little bit later on. Um, but otherwise, yeah. how's everyone's couple of weeks been since we last saw each other? Shocking. What's wrong, mate? No, it's alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, I concur, actually, with Ben. Shocking. Shocking. Yeah. Are you having a good time? No. Could be worse. Can you get COVID from your family? <laughs> yeah, could have been worse. Close, it's <laughs> really worse. <laughs> anyway, sparkling badge aside. Um, we'll quickly wrap up the fixtures against Rockingham. Uh, so they were a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the A grade, sadly, uh, went down in <laughs> the Rockingham franchise. Rockingham finishing at 290. Uh, Charles picking up three for uh, Sunny and Dirt with a couple. So which leaves them currently in the table. A couple of good innings from the kids down at Rocky, uh, but very well. Sadly, uh, yeah, Ed Green coming second down line. Come second a few times in a row. Yeah, yeah. compared to at one point, looking like it was a close game, very close game. But yeah, sadly, oh, the, out. Um, a few blokes had a, had a hit at the end that kind of blew the score out. Yeah, probably I think it was fair. A lot, lot closer than, than the, the score. Yeah, yeah, they were four down at tea time, then mm. 12 runs. And then we took three for two or something yeah. to make it interesting, but then a few nerves blow. Yeah, so it yeah it just goes to show that it's never over, you know. Yeah. Like, you know six for none. We all remember that game yeah. last year. I'm it very fondly. <laughs> <laughs> and some jump runs at the end, which uh, always good to boost the average. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a bad pass to Brazil? Mm -hmm. Do you have a bad really. pass to lunch? Really? Yeah. Anyway, nine twos. No. That's him. Oh, so sorry. I'm prepared. I don't know what happened in the two. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we touched on, sorry, in the last year, the last episode, we ch touched on Jack Jack Jack's, uh, Jack Kamala's brilliant hundred. Um, Jack very And really, it was. Jack cute. Followed, <laughs> it was followed up pretty impressively by the bowling unit. He bowled rocking him out for 95. And personally, I thought they would be a better outfit than what. 95 says on the score sheet, but we think we just bowled pretty well for more reports. Um, should have had a bigger record. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Don't know you bowled out of two overs last time. Three overs last time. Why not? Like, like, back your boys. Back your boys and get out there. They've, they've, back in. they've already been skilled once. It's in their head. And oh, if, fresh. if they got three, four down a the tee, they've got absolutely they got pants. So they don't want to be there. Even for tea time, they, they can still call it off for tea. Yeah. Don't you agree? Oh, 100%. I kept as a coward. But anyway, yeah. But pick of the bowls there. Uh, Jacob Hedlund got four for 23 off 10 overs. And then Robbie Holmes chipped in with two for nine. And uh, friend of the show, Alex Chow, in again with two for 30. So, we got two friends. Two friends. We got two friends. <laughs> yeah, it's always good. Yeah. So yeah, that's made up a quick one this time. Mm. And two, I'm not sure it's that quick. But two is <laughs> sitting five and nine, is that right? Uh, top of the ladder, yes. Top of the clear because the equal top, Bayswater and Melville, both yeah. lost that game. So it's uh, clear. <laughs> Yeah, I just, no, I, I just 
I just, I just can't argue with that. The, the, I can see the cogs ticking over. <laughs> <laughs> he's, trying, he's trying to get it out. You know, I know what he's doing. Yeah, no, 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 mate, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Equal top, but they're not equal top. They're clear. They're, they're clear. clear. <laughs> they're a game player of equal top. They're clear. Right. Um, threes. <laughs> threes uh, did very well defended 150. Um, so we bowled uh, Rockingham out for 90. Um, had another little hit and giggle at the end and, that, and then called it a bit early. Um, but yeah, 150 was just too much on that deck over there. Um, standout bowlers were not shared really. It was tough to give votes for that game. I wish I could give zeros just across the board. Um, it was that even. Um, <laughs> so Sounds pretty negative, though. But no, yeah. it was so even. So they're the number for 500, are they? No, no, I want to give like everybody one. You get like seven votes and you just give them however you want. Well, I'd like to give one vote to everybody. I'd be winning by lots. <laughs> 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 a couple of sevens, just. Um, and then the fours was just comprehensive, really. Three mm -hmm. batted once, got 330. Um, Bernie with the big 150 and Vaughan with 90, ended up on 90, threw away 100. Um, and then bowled him out again for the outright win with Tari taking 11 wickets for the game. Yeah, and Tari's second innings figures five for... Ah, oh, yes, uh, five for 38. 38, 38. Um, which obviously was part of our competition last week. Uh, I'll just take the Lucas out. Uh, energy drinks you don't are available. That. You don't win that. No, that's more valuable than the sunny holder. Um, <laughs> so congratulations to Foxy for the sunny holder. Well done, Foxy. And Foxy. And Foxy. Foxy. Ryan. Not seen. Not seen. Not seen. Not seen. <laughs> to not win the study holder, but the prestigious study holder. Why don't you join the company of Derby, who's got about four of them now. So well done, Ryan. Ryan Fox, you're going to be behind the bar for a week. And we'll come to our competition later on. So that uh, wraps up the Rockingham Games. Now, obviously we're halfway through a round at the moment, or we should be halfway through a round, but whether kind of pay play its part. And unfortunately, all the cricket that was played on Saturday doesn't count for anything. It's like it didn't actually happen. It's like it didn't. Although I will hold the memories of Saturday with me for years and years to come. Because of my three catches? Not quite because of three catches. <laughs> Sadly, not because of your performance in the camera, no. but because watching Jordan get into the deepest, darkest <laughs> hole <laughs> I have ever seen a human being enter. Uh. I fielded 70 overs <laughs> in the rain oh. and cold while other teams were called off. The whole round should have been called off. And I had a foot down. <laughs> and, I had a, and I had a bus party. And I had a bus party at Ascot. And they all won, they all won money. <laughs> we don't congratulate. No, no, gamble chance quick. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Jordan Gamble, very good sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was Punter's Club money, so I got a share of it. Um, so normally, so <laughs> normally we run through some scores. Uh, unfortunately, my cricket has already taken them down. I um, don't really you know, you can't really remember. Um, we think the A grade game finished with um, Matador in around 6 for 105. Oh, 106 for 104. Um, and again, we're not and quite sure who actually took wickets. They were 1 for 95. Yeah, they had a big collapse. Uh, boys came in really sort of hot towards the end of the day. We did have a break and play for the pitch being too slippery, which was an interesting one. I've never in my life heard of that, but apparently it was too slippery to bat on. No. We should have had his spikes on. <laughs> I've got a bit pet back. Don't tell Peppy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, they had a bit of a break. Again, not entirely sure who took wickets. We think Chog's got some, we think Jai got some, we think Sammy got some. So I know Sam got at least one. Sam got at least one, Jai got one. We think Chog's got maybe two. I know Chog's got one. Yeah. So, well done. Um, Maybe to those guys. <laughs> <laughs> but Smart people probably. If you didn't really need anything, so we'll come back next week. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, again, yeah, this will be very quick. Two didn't get on at all. Didn't get on at all. Turned no. up. Muddy. No. Wet. Covers of Matt Morley were. Not on. Not on, apparently. Sure. Or not on. Just not on. It's just not on. <laughs> it's just not on. Um, so, yeah, they obviously started one down. Now, third grade. And we have three people that were playing in that game. So let me open the floor up. Um, did well, won the toss, bowled, um, in a bit of trouble, well, took, took some early wickets, three for 30. 
and then a couple of blokes. Three for one ten, was it? They put on yeah, seventy or eight. Yeah, they put on in the second session. They put on a few. Took yeah, I think just one in the second session. Um, and then uh, Cam Green, the um, Australian all rounder, Cam Guy Rescue, <laughs> uh, took six six wickets. And so we've got him. We've got him here today. Oh, well, done. Yeah, and this is the only it's proof that we're going to have of it as well okay. because it's, it's gone. It's it's not on my credit credit well. yeah. so you've actually only got five for the year. I actually made sure all, all my family have screenshots of all the scorecards. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is now the best figures in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It might even beat Lewis, but it definitely beats Alec, oh, Alec Green. And <laughs> he can't even say that it was only in third grade because his best figure is actually in fourth grade. And he grabbed five in Jubilee. Um, so, <laughs> so, I sense this is the best one of the world. So, how are you going to get you back down to the club? You're the best one of the world, essentially. Essentially. Jeez. That's the way it goes. Well done. Alright, oh, no, fantastic effort. So, what were the final figures? Six for the, well, I don't remember actually. It's <laughs> six, six for 32. Off, off, off 13.2. Yeah, so oh, I don't remember. Slip <laughs> <laughs> right, so my mind. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. no, well done. Yeah, it's very well done. And um, yeah, fours one for 60 before they got called off, so we go again next week. Yeah. yeah. One thing we did forget to mention, of course, in the A grade report was uh, we did have a debutant this week. Uh, in the A grade. Pick new teams this week. Which week's. is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, can you have your cat back, please? He hasn't had his number tattooed on his arm yet. Well, that might be. Um, so, number 629. Seven, sorry, 729. Um, 627. Six, 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 679. 679. Six, seven, what am I saying? 13.2. So, Desi Hen. Uh, Congratulations, mate. Oh, obviously delighted for you. Of course, that doesn't count. You might share that number, but you know, yeah. life sucks. We'll congratulate you again. But yeah, we've got the new 679. Yeah, now yeah. six. Yeah. Well, yeah. well man's as well. Pick the wrong camera. Uh, Pick the wrong camera. Wrong camera. <laughs> well, at least this one's not in 14 day, you know, isolation mm. or whatever it is. Like I should be. Probably keep my little bit of distance. <laughs> I had family come over from um, Adelaide. We told the story. <laughs> literally, A, we told this story on our group chat, and we told this story before we started. That's why I'm. Right, it's got the gloves on. <laughs> it's, 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 that's just going to re lubricate the glass. What kind of a guy would pick that pen up? Yeah. Big guy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were able to get out because the podcast is a central <laughs> test. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a really powerful That stuff. is some heavy hitting. I think it might also, is that going to like put the, sorry, just sort of rubbish now. Um, <laughs> sorry, Jordan. Our guest. Yeah, so now we come to our special section, which went so well with Charlie last time, we brought it back. Special questions for our special it's, guests. Well, it's been a, a big rise for you, Campbell, in the last, what, 12, 18 months or so. What, is there one thing that you can pinpoint it to, or is it just more of a progression sort um, of thing? Uh, well, I think, you know, in all seriousness, I think my dad down here as coach, Lewis Green, has actually helped me out quite a lot. Yeah, because he doesn't spend any time with anyone else. I wish he spent more time with me. I can't bring that soft story into him. Daddy wasn't <laughs> there. <Daddy. laughs> no, I just, yeah, when I, when I, when I first came down, it had, it had been like a year since I played cricket. My only cricket had been like thirds PSA. So it was some pretty low grade stuff. And um oh, that's a bit rough on the poor third time PSA, isn't it? I'm captain fielded in shorts, so <laughs> <laughs> right, well, he gets the vote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um yeah, I, uh, yeah, just 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 came down a couple a couple of years ago, just honestly looking for a game of cricket because I because I missed it. Um Ben Benoit wasn't too fond of me because I was well terrible <laughs> in the down the fullest. How could that <laughs> mate? But um, yeah, dad, dad, dad was just patient with me. Everyone was pretty patient with me, and I ended up getting him on the pitch, and eventually he was took some wickets. Yeah, yeah. so it's been Living a dream on the podcast. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I've absolutely peaked, and um, oh, it's all well, it was brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Some of us are in the middle of very slippery steps. Yes. <laughs> Most of our words. Yeah. Um, loving off the top. I've got one. Um, so, would you rather on the weekend not have played or taken your six foot and it doesn't count? Taken my six foot. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. I don't, I don't care if it doesn't count. What's six foot? Because I've, I've, here. I've got the screenshots, the videos on, the videos on Instagram. There's a lot of things that count in here. <laughs> <laughs> it counts. It counts. And I've got the. Uh, the figures over Alec, so it's yeah. every, every, it, it was a it, it absolutely went swimmingly as well. I mean, we had we got to. I mean, not this shouldn't be a perk, but the game got called off sort of early. I got, Six thirty got, got called off. Got to make it. You you left. I had gone. I got, got to got to make it to my <laughs> evening commitments and. Yeah, they were already lying. Like, they were lying like, throughout the field. You didn't start. I was out of there. You left an hour before stumps. <laughs> they were actually ready to go out and bowl. How uh, how were you? How were you? Uh, how were you? How were your off-field commitments that night? Did it's you tell uh, everyone you got six foot? Absolutely. Well, I rock up to um, so I had a I had a uni ball. I rock up to the ball pre's, and the first thing I say is to um, I address the crowd. Anyone had a look at my cricket? <laughs> 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 this is quick because it's going. <laughs> Quickly, quickly, get a So I, I go to my anyone had a look at my creek today, and um, talking, talking to talking to my mates, and I look over and the room's actually chock full of people I don't really know, and I <laughs> <laughs> sort, of, sort of made a little bit of toss myself, but um, but you know, first impressions aren't everything. And I took six bucks. <laughs> And we're never going to forget it. Uh, I will open the same question up to Jordan. Would you rather not have played or would you rather have counted? <laughs> Don't answer that. No, 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 no. You told us many times. And of course, you actually, even though it may not be on my cricket, um, we still have video highlights of it. Yeah. Of course, thanks to our good friends at CPS Capital. Professional lab. We really have. <laughs> um, so, yeah, highlights all over social media. So. Yeah, like fantastic effort, mate. Do we have any more questions for the cab before we move on? Uh, there's one actually come through the text line here. Is that allowed? Or just, no, yeah, that's all right. Um, so we've got a, a one come through on the text line to ask him how you got your nickname Camberdoy. Oh, um, <laughs> this has more been given by the poor boys to me. Um, I sort of gave it. To, my, to myself uh, many years ago, but for some reason you guys decided to call me Camber Doy. Uh, the, way it, the way it went is I think, I think it was just uh, me being about 10 years old, I think it was a funny funny way to say my name. I made it, I made, I made it my YouTube name when I was like, when I was like the 14, 15. <laughs> made some absolutely terrible video. <laughs> I don't want to create more work for Maury. Um, but if we can find someone to either live or get some of the videos <laughs> I, 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 um, I made the, the bad ones, I made private. Still some absolutely shocking ones up there, which I should get to. <laughs> um, like, um, like, what what context? Uh, <laughs> what context is what this? Website? It was a shout out before we went on with that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, on my, my, my old YouTube channel. Okay. And, okay. Uh, as what as constitutes as a bad video, video for you? Yeah, just no, let's find out. Did some week. Been, been a cringy teenager. We've all been there. Only not just don't put it on YouTube. Let's just <laughs> let's just uh, let's just focus on on the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> what have we got next? Well, <laughs> thank you very much, mate. So we only want to. Uh, yeah, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure to have you. Um, we only want to our tipping competition now. Last week, uh, last round. Sorry, we kind of jumped in halfway and we put our tips through and somehow even though we all had different tips we all drew so we had six apiece uh disappointed that my scarlet boys didn't get up probably been nine for 70 but just unfortunate honestly so we need a tiebreaker i don't think we did the um we didn't do the wise in the game so we've come up with an ingenious way of doing this uh, and it's going to be catching red frogs in our mouths so we're going to get one red frog each Whoever gets closest, I think, is going to be the realistic. Uh, could be winner. a lot hinging on the throw. It could know. be a lot hinging on the throw. She's pouring his throat. And, and <laughs> look, let's be honest. Oh, he's going to pick. 
I'm not sure how it could not. I'm not sure. Brian Hick is going to win the comp. So we'll go. Um, no. Yeah, yeah, you're up first. No, I'm not sure. Right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That was tongue. Yeah, he's quite go in. Close. I've got the smallest mouth. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> just, just make it. Just, just easy. Cause, just because I'm hungry. He's batting for us. That sounded like a wrench. No, no, no. Well, well, well Emma, I, 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 I am speechless. <laughs> Man with the smallest mouth. <laughs> oh, 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 Maury! <laughs> Did I mention something like that before the show started? Yeah, we say don't <laughs> throw the things. <laughs> um, we'll just make it land down. No. Um. Okay. Well, then, well, again, I'm speechless. <laughs> well, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, congratulations. That's my wins at Technicom. Is that two for you? Mm. One for yes. me, and none for Jordan, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm one, yeah. Okay, so congratulations, you win last round. So, as always, we're going to pick yep. two games from this round coming up. Obviously, they're all into one day, so yep. it's all starting fresh. Yeah, okay, so again, we'll pick the Fremantle game and then one other thing that's a. Uh, and we pick the blockbuster. We reverse last, so, yeah, so the Mount Wally Fremantle. Oh. Reverse from last week. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, okay, I can't really argue with that. <laughs> Okay, so boys, who do you think is going to win out of Mount Hawley and Fremantle? I am going to go Freo. Yeah, I'm going to go Freo. No. <laughs> Sorry, just excuse me, I was having a note of class. Freo. Freo. I'm going to say Freo as well, I'm not in the competition. Uh, <laughs> no, no, you won't. You won't. Last week. 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 Is it the Rocky Home game you now pick? Because it's the big win last no, week. No, it's the Buffer. Okay. Yeah, that's the oh, worth my time. Oh, I know the should be. Rocky vs. Cosy is not worth my time, really. The, um, the Willington oh. South Perth game. Choose. No, we choose Willington every week, though, don't we? Yeah, that's friends of the show. show. Yeah, we're friends of the show. And that's a good game. Oh, it's not the one I want to choose. Alright, well, which one are you going to choose? Well, I was going to choose June the Love vs. Melville. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I want to hear you two go first. Oh. You, there's, there's a few famous. Well, there's a few vote getters already in the Doug Stewart yeah. board in both teams, so yeah. I thought I'd get them I involved. am going to go for the Storm. Uh, no, I'm going Judy Lop. I'm going Judy as well. I'm going to go Judy. It's in Judy. They don't lose there. That. They don't lose there. Fortress. Mm. I lose. Um, Frank Fu. He's. Do you remember the Polish dumplings you got? Polish dumplings, <laughs> yeah, that's right. The Polish dumplings, yeah, yeah Luke. Fantastic, anyway. Sorry. Uh, um, that's, <laughs> that's it. And of course, all of our other tips will be going down the bottom for the four of us, so uh, fingers crossed and best of luck, everybody. Tiebreaker, one day at Wides in our game. I suppose it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. In, the, in the threes game? For our team, how many we fold? Fours game. Fours game. Fours game. Why do you fours say three? No, apologies. Uh, I will go with 28. 15. Oh, yeah, next time wise. Wasn't it a 16? I'll go. What did you say? 28. 28. I'll go. 21. Yeah, okay. There you go. Oh, I'll go to both teams. Uh, yeah, both the whole yeah. game. Yeah. Oh, the whole? Yeah. Sorry, votes are in. Yeah. One side of the wicket, boys. <laughs> <laughs> both teams, 21. <laughs> 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 Well, you don't get a point of this. 22. Now, Price is right, that's brilliant. He's at 20. He's at 20. So you got 21. Us. Yep. <laughs> um, now, again, we'll have another competition this week. Unfortunately, one, right? because Campbell's figures were mm. deleted um, by they were very nasty people at the Wacker. So we are giving away another <laughs> <slightly> <laughs> We're giving away another study hold that. Uh, for everybody, for anybody, so you can get the closest to Camel's figures this week. So his actual figures, his redemption figures, closest to the mark, wins another study hold that. I wrote 21. <laughs> it's 
to one, we've already said it's one day, yeah. and it's, and it's nine, nine hours. hours, not ten. <sighs> See, we didn't know about cricket, but bit in the, anyway. Yeah. So nine hours, uh, yeah. bit more than the thing. I'm going to say uh, one for 32. Sorry, mate. Oh, do we, we don't have to do it now. I'll just put it out there, that's All what right. I'm saying. I'm, I'm just well, wow. one for 32, that's cool. what I'm saying. Deal with it. All right. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to move on to our uh, ever popular lower grade hero of the week. The and Dutch we're going to fly through them. We're going to fly through them. Yeah. Okay. One vote. <clears throat> Elijah Tara Smith is leading the fourth grade bowling for the association <laughs> after that game. <laughs> Two votes. R. Ross or Phil In. <laughs> it's his first game for the year. He hit 175 off 150 rocks Jeez. for Bayswater. Three votes. Previous vote getter after that game. N. Sampath. 129 not out off 97. <laughs> In his red lid, but Melville photoshopped it. Melville <laughs> photoshopped it. <laughs> Love it. Love, that's what I'm here for. Oh, As always, get your get your uh, nomination. Yeah, if anything happens, get some video. Get everything. It's a shame it's just work. I saw a photo from a path game with an old fella in a rain jacket feeling the first slip of the weekend, which was beautiful. But it wasn't whack, so it doesn't count. You <laughs> 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 Um, but if you get anything, like, let us know, because it'd be great. Come to the end of the show, um, Campbell, this is undoubtedly the highlight of the show. It's Jordan's joke. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're up. Man. Look, let's well, not get it edited out this week. Yeah. yeah, which I think I'm pretty harshly done by, but that's, that's fine. It's not really um, up for you to decide. <laughs> that's not, but that's just my opinion. Alright. Um, look. Some jokes have been good, some have been hit and miss. I'll, I'll admit that, but you live and you learn. So I'm going to go back to, on the very first episode, we had one that was uh, in relation to Harry Potter. And a few of the poor girls, namely Ellie Moore and Amy Johnston, loved it. So I'm going to go down, down that track again tonight. Um, <laughs> I guess that will. I'll trip the up. <laughs> so, at Hogwarts, how do they convert Microsoft Word into a PDF? <laughs> Why? Well, I, I never saw any computers in the movie. <laughs> yeah. oh, Adobe. Anytime you like. Yeah. Just don't give him a bit of clothing, otherwise it's free. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jordan, and thank you everybody for <laughs> this week. Uh, best of luck to all the uh, poor boys this weekend, and we'll see you next week for episode six. Thank you very much.